Our plan for the production of pharmaceutical powders in Rostov has been on the pharmaceutical market for more than five years. We use various pharmaceutical equipment that meets the requirements and standards of GMP for production, a unit for dehydration of aqueous solutions and extracts in a fluidized bed apparatus, rotary tablet machines, an automatic line for packaging tablets into plastic film, and foil and other high-tech machines and apparatuses. Last year our company started producing vitamins in capsules. At the first stages of launching the equipment, we faced the problem of cleaning and polishing the finished product. The problem was as follows. In the process of production and its subsequent transfer from the matrix to the storage tank, the capsules come into contact with the powder residue. As a result, a dusty film forms on the surface of the capsules. I began my search for automatic equipment. A colleague advised me to first contact the equipment manufacturers. They provide warranty service, drawings, instructions for use, carry out installation of the equipment produced. I followed his advice. I chose one company online in Italy, which produces pharmaceutical equipment. I visited their website and wrote a letter in which I indicated the desired parameters and the capabilities of the machine. I did not indicate a specific machine. I wanted to see what they could offer me. A week later, I received the reply that they did not produce such machines specifically, but could design and produce them if requested by the end of next year. That was too long for us. So I decided to look for other equipment producers. I found an online company in China, which produces equipment for capsule cleaning. I called them and asked whether they could provide similar equipment with the required parameters. They replied that they had such a machine. The manager asked for my phone number and said she would call me back in the evening when she checked with her company engineer about the capabilities of automatic equipment. However, she did not call in the evening. I contacted them the next day. The manager said she had forwarded the request to the design department and she would get back to me when she got an answer. This seems strange to me. When do I wait for an answer? How long to wait for an answer? Absolutely no business approach to the customer. It turned out that it is difficult to choose the equipment manufacturer herself. And then I remembered that at the Forum of Producers of Equipment for the Pharmaceutical Industry in Moscow, I met a specialist who was engaged in the selection and supply of equipment for the production of medicines. I found his business card and before contacting him I decided to check whether he really engaged in the supply of machines for the pharmaceutical industry. In order to do this I found his company's website and carefully studied the information on it. I liked that the website was up to date with video clips of the equipment and many contacts for communication. I also noticed that the website had been around since 2003. The company had been on the equipment supply market for a long time and that is a good reason to say that it was successful. I called the manager. He said he remembered me and was happy to hear from me again. I told him I was looking for automatic capsule cleaning and polishing equipment with a capacity of at least 1000 capsules per minute. He suggested the option of gelatin capsule polishing equipment, which is popular with customers and proven in production. I agreed to consider it. The manager emailed me the passport and instructions for the equipment. He also offered to perform a turnkey delivery. I liked the proposed version of the equipment and I agreed it with the management. A week later we made a contract for the supply of automatic equipment for cleaning and polishing gelatin capsules. One month after signing the contract, the manager called me and told me that the equipment was ready and a week later delivered it. The automatic machine was saddled in stainless steel. It consisted of a hopper where the capsules were loaded and airflow was used to de-dust them. Then in the polishing hopper brushes polish and remove dust particles from the surface of the capsules. The airflow rate is adjusted by the operator, using buttons on the control box. The management, including myself, were satisfied with the proposed option of equipment for polishing gelatin capsules. I realized that I had made the right choice of a specialist to supply the equipment. After contacting a real professional, I have become a little smarter myself, learned a lot, and am absolutely certain that a good teacher is one whose words and deeds don't differ. I checked it out on my own experience.